and around Long Island Sound. And then farther north, these are storm warnings. Winds over 55 miles per hour. And as I mentioned in that special advisory that just came out of Taunton, Massachusetts, there could be gusts as high as 70 miles an hour along the coast. Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Block Island, Buzzards Bay, and coastal Rhode Island will be the most vulnerable. And there could be some coastal flooding going on here too. Right now, the only coastal flood watches that are upper from Watch Hill, Rhode Island, down to Sandy Hook, New Jersey. Particularly if that wind turns more in an easterly direction, you can see how that would funnel the water right down Long Island Sound. And as it narrows down here at the end of the sound, that would tend to focus a lot of the, the water here and it could cause some flooding, particularly back toward the LaGuardia area and parts of southwest Connecticut as well. So as you can see, it looks like the threat for severe weather, particularly over southeast. It's going to be a nice evening. Enjoy the crunchy kind of Werther's toffee and luscious milk chocolate. Werther's chocolate, the crunchy luxury. I start on them right after breakfast. Rain today. Look for the chance of a shower out west. Windy conditions from Texas to the Dakota. This edition of WeatherScope is sponsored by Imes Dog and Cat Foods. Good for life. This is WeatherScope. Well, it's the New York Marathon that'll be running tomorrow, but it's rainy weather that's racing up the East Coast towards New York City today. The system brought heavy rain and wind damage yesterday to the southeast. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to WeatherScope. I'm Bruce Edwards. Now, we have a live crew stationed in New York for the approaching system, and we're also keeping track of uh, what is looking to be a rather stormy day again over the southeast. Now, for all the latest details, let's check in with Marshall Cease in the Forecast Center. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. We're here at the update desk for you today because of those two scenarios that Bruce just alluded to. Possibility for a severe weather setup in the southeast again today. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And heavy rain scenario for the northeast. We've been watching for the rain in New York all morning long. It looks like it's finally arriving there. Let's show you what it looked like last night as this soaking Saturday began. Remember, trick-or-treat night for the kids was rather wet one down in the southeast yesterday as we had an overrunning situation situation with plenty of moisture moving in out of the Gulf of Mexico. It's over in the southeast now, but the low is moving northward along the coast over Virginia, North Carolina right now, and later this evening we expect it over the New York area. Now, one to two inches is likely to fall from the system as it heads to the north, and it will also bring in some very strong southeasterly winds into the southern New England coastline, which means the possibility for some coastal erosion. We're also getting prepared for the marathon in New York City. City tomorrow, and our live crew is stationed in New York City. Mike Seidel getting wet this morning as the rain has finally moved into New York. Good morning, Mike. 
Yes, that's right, Marshall. Good morning. It just started raining about 15 minutes ago here in New York City. We're out here just off Central Park West at Columbus Circle and the marathon you mentioned tomorrow and it will be raining tomorrow off and on. The bulk of the rain though will fall this afternoon and tonight as the wind picks up. The finish line is uh, oh, about six or seven blocks up here in the park. Let's pan across and look south down towards Columbus Circle, looking down 8th Avenue and Broadway. And uh, a lot of traffic out this morning. We had a fair amount of runners earlier. Some of the rain may have scared a few of them inside, but, you know, the hardy runners will be out here. Right now it's about 60 degrees here in the park, so a very, very warm early November morning now, November 1st. And let's go to uh, MassCam and take a look at the buildings. And you can see that some of the higher uh, buildings are just up to the cloud base. We should see that cloud base lower as uh, the rain picks up for the next couple of hours. And as we come back down on the street here on Central Park West, you can see it is, it is wet on the uh, cars. Again, heavy rain coming in this afternoon and tonight. A lot of wind, especially if you're watching from the South Shore Long Island. We'll keep you posted on any uh, potential airline delays. Check ahead if you're flying out of the airports or if you're flying into the area because the combination of the wind and rain and restricted visibility will likely uh, cause at least some minor delays. Uh, the marathon tomorrow morning, but we do have a couple of races uh, coming up this morning. We have the Nike Kids race and we have a friendship race which gets underway over around the United Nations and they will be running through here so we may catch that a little later on. Until then, we're from uh, we're live from New York City. Back to you in Atlanta. Thanks, Mike. And for those races this morning and this afternoon, I guess the good news from all this is that temperatures are about 20 to 25 degrees warmer than they were yesterday. So at least they'll be running in temperatures hovering around the 60 degree mark. Well, the clouds now have moved into northern New England. The heaviest rain is still down in southeastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Virginia. But the rain has moved into the New York City area, as you know. We can show you a radar out of the New York City area, and you can see the rain spreading into northeastern Pennsylvania now. Moderate rain moving into Philadelphia. It is raining at Teterboro and Islip and JFK this morning. And as Mike said, there could be some delays. You want to check the airports uh, before you depart this morning see if you've got any delays that affect you winds out of the south right now and the southeast they will be turning to the southeast this afternoon they will also be strong we expect them to be out of the east 25 to 35 miles per hour by later this afternoon so it's going to be bree uh, breezy wind advisories have been issued for today and tonight and a coastal flood watch has been issued for tonight as well you can see the rain rotating around that low heading northward along the coast but it also means that South Carolina is cleared out right now, but we have another impulse that's going to be moving to the east across Mississippi and Alabama. Heavy rain anywhere from one to two inches today all along the northeast coast, uh, southward through New Jersey, and strong winds will buffet the northeast and southern New England coast. Storm warnings are in effect from Eastport to Watch Hill and gale warnings from Sandy Hook, New Jersey, northward. Coastal flood watch in effect and coastal flood warning in effect uh, just north of Long Island along the coast of Connecticut. In Florida, just some scattered rain showers this morning, but yesterday they were pummeled with some severe weather. Around the Tampa St. Pete area yesterday, heavy rain fell. The northern half of the state got the brunt of it. There's some video I want to show you out of Florida to show you the, uh, what kind of situation they encountered yesterday. As you can see, uh, had some flooded roads and some flooded areas there. Strong winds also knocked down power lines and trees and homes were damaged in the storm. There's going to be a lot of cleanup uh, today to clean this situation up and the possibility of more severe weather. Yesterday, Sarasota and Bradenton had about 3.2 inches of rain. Daytona Beach had about two and a third inches of rain. There is a possibility again today for severe weather near the Gulf Coast. Let me show you the quick uh, setup to this. It is system number two that is going to be heading into a very unstable air mass. We also have an upper level jet stream at 150 knots. There is a possibility for supercell development, possible tornadic activity. This morning we have had some severe weather already in northeastern Mississippi and in northern Alabama. Well, uh, if you want to check up on this uh, to get the current conditions, you always check www.weather.com uh, for your latest weather information. Meanwhile, for the latest going on right now, we'll take you back to the studio of Bruce Edwards. Uh, thanks very much, Marshall. So it's a real mess in the east, but high pressure is dominating the west, and it's rather nice indeed. But we still have another low pressure system over the upper Midwest, setting the stage for potentially some wintry weather there. For all the details, let's check back in with Dan Atkinson. Dan?
Thank you, Bruce. It is a windy morning this morning across the northern plains, thanks to low pressure here and the high pressure over the uh, Nevada basin, producing winds from the northwest at uh, 20 to 25 miles per hour, gusting to around 30 miles per hour from Alexandria, Minnesota, down to Mason City, Iowa, back toward Rapid City, South Dakota. One of the windiest parts of the country, or probably the windiest, will be western South Dakota, where you have a, have a high wind warning in effect today. Look for winds across western South Dakota in the range of uh, 30 to 45 miles per hour, sustained winds, 30 to 45 miles per hour out of the northwest, and you could have some gusts, places like Rapid City, up to about 55 to 60 miles per hour. In the Midwest, a lot of rain sweeping up through the Ohio Valley, widespread rain across northern portions of Ohio, nearly all of Michigan wet now, some thunderstorms making their way from eastern portions of Illinois into western portions of Indiana. No warnings associated with them, but they're popping some lightning and producing some high winds. Rather wet weather for you now around Green Bay on up toward Marquette. At Michigan, Saginaw getting soggy, Detroit rainy as well. Just some sprinkles across the northern plains. At Grand Forks, you've had a mix of rain and snow, light rain and snow at times. Fargo now 35, it's 52 in Chicago and 52 in Indianapolis. Over the western portion of the country, high pressure dominating, keeping things generally dry. You've had a few sprinkles at places like Haver and Bozeman, Montana. A little bit of light snow at Butte, Montana, but generally dry. Foggy conditions still, if you'll be